Well, river's going back down. Even some stones on that side. I might have a look on them after. Um, pebble bar is coming on shore, but I don't think I can get across to it today. And uh, plenty of stones on there. A few days since I've been down, so I'll have a quick look on there, see what there is. Well, it's starting to go down. We haven't had any rain for a couple of days, but I'm still not going across them stones there, still underwater. But we'll have a quick look here. Don't think I'll find much. Well, just a little bit of tile or mixing ball. I'll leave that. I don't think there's much in shallows here. I've spotted some here. If I can get to it. Is that a stone or is it? It's on a, oh, it's a plane. Well, I've spotted a couple of chunks out here. If I can get to them before I get underwater. They're a bit deep. Oh, that water's still cold. Oh, flip on you. No, it's just play. Oh, that's cold. Oh, well, we'll get back on there and see what we can find. Well, a bit of a stormware pot there. Leave that. It's probably a bit of land drain or sewer pipe oh. <coughs> what we got there? Oh, just plain yep definitely too deep and slippery to go across them rocks today even though it's started to uncover there a couple more days and it's sh i should be able to get across if it doesn't rain oh, a little bit here that's got some on i think It's a tiny bit of relief. Yeah. Just a bit of a storm. Uh, a bit of mixing ball or something there, cooling ball with being black. <coughs> and just plain. Oh. Just spotted this bottle here. Now is it an old one or is it a new one? I don't know where that's washed out from. Sanderson's. Peter Street, Manchester. Ah. Huh. Well. That is. A rare find. Oh. Nice bit of paper. Well, where's that washed from? Probably just washed out of there, but what a great find. Well, let's see. What a great find. A couple of little bubbles in it, but no chips. It's quite a latest bottle, but still early. But that is a wonderful find for down here. Oh, that bit of broken stoneware pot I found the other day that were all underwater. Oh, I just flipped a piece over here, thinking it would be a bit turn over it the other day, but it mustn't have been because. There's a purple flower on it. Or purple leaves, should I say. Oh. Well. <coughs> well, with that bottle from just there at the base of the bridge. So if there's any more stuff, there's a big chunk of bone there. And another piece there. Oh. Well, it's all washing out of that bank in there. Now we've got some quackers come across to join me. Well, 
Well, another piece I just flipped over without filming, thinking it's a piece of from what top I've turned over before. A bit of blue on it. We'll see how that cleans up. Hello quackers. You come to see me over this side again? I'll be down there in a minute. Well, I thought I'll just have a look all on you. Oh, falling across my ducks and all. You'll have to wait while I go down there. Unless you're going to bring me some fines. Oh, I can spot what looks like part of a plate down here. Uh, it's just plain. <coughs> oh, I thought that one another bit, but it's, it looks like a stone. Yeah, it's a stone. <laughs> oh, just a plain bit there. Well, I'll see if I can get onto that sandbar there. <coughs> now, there's so much down there that looks to have colour on it. Uh. Oh, -ho. oh, yeah. The note on the back. Well, that's a nice big chunk of plate. Ah, is there any other bits here? Clear. No, stone. Oh, well, let's see if there's out washed out on here and just in the shallows at the side. Oh, some chunk of plainer than we're pot there. We'll leave that. <coughs> oh, some of there, but <coughs> I think it's just plain. All right. Camera's turned. Oh, <coughs> it's like I'm painted blue. Oh, well, that's about as far as I can get today. Oh, there's a couple of good bits over here. Makes a change. <coughs> well, up on the banking, I just spotted this big chunk of base of a ball. I don't think there's old Tom patting on it. I might just take that. Let's clean it. See what it cleans up like. Well, I found another bit that had spalled off it, and I just turned it side over, and there's uh, some bit of a patterning on it. So I definitely will take that. And right where that bit of pot was, there's a bit of a fire grate there. So we'll leave that. I'm not into taking chunks of cast iron on. Well, not them sort. I'm still being followed by these three. Well, they've brought me a little bit of luck over here anyhow. Because I usually don't find that much over this particular little bit here. But, I think them three have brought me luck today. Some of the old fittings that... Uh, we're under the gate, um, under the bridge, not gate, because there used to be a gate across here. I think this, uh, they can just make out some of the fittings on there. I think we have to catch up debris going down the river. And as you can see, that's the old medieval half of the bridge. Built in the 11th summit, I think. 1130, I believe. And that part built early 1800s when they widened the road. Well, I've got them following me. There's a couple there coming waddling towards me. But there's a big chunk of white out there, and I don't know what it is, so I'm going to see if I can get to it. Because it's quite shallow here. Well, that big metal rim that I found a couple of weeks ago, is, that's still here. That's not been washed away. There's a bit of red wear there, and a bit of summer here. I bet it's plain, isn't it? 
Yeah, it's just plain. Well, another piece is that plain again. Yeah, just plain. That's the I think that's the white piece I saw. Ah, just plain. Bit of a tool. But everybody wants a pedestal base. And some quackers. I think I might just take that out, put it outside and walk up, pick it up when I'm going home. That'll do well for garden all that. Right, well I spotted a bit of white here, and as I was moving it, I spotted blue up to the side, or I thought I spotted blue up to the side. Ooh. Oh yeah. A bit of blue. Oh. I'll have to pick that back up again. Well, I mustn't forget that on the way home. What do you say, Ducks? You're bringing me some luck today. Well, I was walking on top and I thought, spotted a few bits of white, so I thought I'd come back down. Uh, base of the pot, a little bit. Uh, just playing. Well, I can tell this has got some embossing on from here, so. That'll do, we'll pick it up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that were embossing, it was just a uh, staining. But it's a bit of RP, so that can go back on its journey. You're waiting for me. Oh, where are you going? Oh, well, let's go and feed you down there. Right, well, you're all waiting. And you have brought me some luck today. Some good finds. Oh, there you Where's everybody else? There's not so many of you today. Oi, you pack it in, or else your next meal's going to be orange sauce. More incoming. <coughs> oh, somebody's pulled that bit of stone out and put it on the side, but I have a pot very similar to that at home. And this big lump. That's going to take some carrying home. I've no rucksack with me. Well, a big chunk of RP there. So we'll leave that to carry its journey on. And a couple of bits here. Probably plain. Yeah, just plain, a bit of a handle, I think. And what's this bit? Oh, it looked like it had some colour on it. Oh yeah. Oh, some big fern leaves. Well, we'll see how that cleans up. Oh, 
Oh, nothing much on there yet. But we'll keep looking. Well, probably part of the ginger beer bottle or something. No markings on it though. And all the big bit of RP. Well, a big chunk of mixing bowl there. Right, two bits here. Is there anything on them? Oh, got a bit of lining around it. Oh, just a bit edging. And the other one looks like there's some patterning on it already. Yep. Oh, some flowers. Yeah. Well, two little bits and a bit of red wear stuff there. Oh, a bit I just picked up. Bit of blue on it, not much. There's a little bit there, and it looks to have it. a bit of blue on it. Oh, a bit of something faint on it. Let's see what that is like that in better light. Well, I'll just remove that, and it's like a bit of a handle. So I'll leave that. Coming back, I just spotted that. That's probably a bit of willow. There's always some willow. Bruce, you should always walk back along your, where you've walked. Well, there's a lot of stones on shore there, but only a few little pieces. And again, I just turned this piece over thinking, oh, it's just clear. I've turned it over on way down, but no, nope, some more blue. Oh well. We keep finding the little bits. It's a bit dark now, it's struggling focusing. Oh, it looks like people have been pulling bits and pieces out. And another pair of goggles from down here. Well, we'll get them in the bin. Alright, today's finds. Uh, this is just pre-cleaning them. I've just given them a, a quick wash, just to wash worst of mud off. But we're just going to soak them as they are, like that. And I say this is just like a test piece because it's all grubby. Big chunk broken off there, which is that bit there. But can't tell if there's a maker's mark on bottom. The bit of decoration on it there. But we'll see how it comes up. And the other bits, let's say, I'm just going to put them in as they are. I've just given them a quick swilly thing to just wash worst that mud off. But bits like that, we'll see how that cleans up. Hmm. All the grubby edges. Yeah. Alright, well I'll get them started. I've got a few other bits. Uh, I'm going through all the other finds that I've found over the past few years, cleaning up with using this new method. And they seem to be coming a lot, lot cleaner. So I should hopefully be making some out of all these before too long. And these bits as well. Well, 
And that should get them fizzing away. Starting already. And there's that bottle as well. I'm going to soak that in cold water. I'm not putting, uh, well, just slightly warm water and fill it up. Try and get that mould out of the inside. And uh, see how that cleans up. Well, the ducks certainly brought me a lot of luck down the uh, the river today. Um, over the far side by the bridge. Just a tiny little bit there. And that bit of blue and white. It looks like it might be spongeware. Cleaned up really well. And that purple flower, that's cleaned up really well. That base of a little dish, a plate. And Sanderson, Peter Street, Manchester. Two piece mould, as far as I can make out. Going off the seams all the way up to the top. But the, it's 1890 to 1920 I think oh. and it's cleaned up really well one broken little bubble there but some other bubbles in it but no sickness on it or out and that's not been tumbling in the river so somebody's either dropped it and it's dropped in the mud down the side of the bridge but uh, yeah, that is a very rare find for us, full bottle like that. And from the other side of the bridge, where I don't go that often, nice bit of hand painted, looks like a recent break on there and all, so it would have been bigger. Oh, that's a recent break, that there tumbled a little bit. And this big chunk, pity the rust staining's gone under the glaze. Well, little diamond mark on there, probably a maker's mark, but I don't know what that is. But it's nice finding a, a big, big piece like this. Makes a change for all little pieces, I normally find a piece just something like that. <laughs> and this, well, that's a bit of the base that's broke off the duck's gone for a fall but uh, yeah clean it up best I can but a lot of staining and it's very abraded is the glaze inside you know I think it's probably a big mocker type jug that's like that earthworm type patterning now it's all glaze is all cracking off but we're going to experiment to clean it up as best I could but it's a lot cleaner than what it was and from on the stones a bit of willow and that's just the edges of the uh, the bird's wings and the tree at the other side how do I know I have a willow plate here and it matches just about there. What do you see? Probably a different make because that's a bit closer than this one. But it's that bit of the the willow plate. And this fern bit, that's cleaned up really well. Little rust stain there, but a nice one. Maybe that plate edging's uh, clean up. Looks like there's some sort of design on that, but very, very abraded. I 
and that pretty flower. That's come up nice. And some other bits. Just a little bit on that one. And another flower one. And probably a bit of a picture, I don't know what or even which way around it goes. And this again, probably a bit of willow. There's always some willow. And a pair of goggles that were left outside. They'll go in bin. And this junk, which I spotted in an, uh, another previous video, but somebody pulled it out and put it outside. And it's quite a modern planter because I've got one outside. I'll uh, just stick a photo up now. And, uh, well, this is next to that uh, urn base or plinth that uh, I also picked up. And you can see, I say, a picture of it now out in the garden. I haven't done all wheat yet. Well, it's goodbye from me for today.